hello and welcome. So in this quick video, I'm going to talk about how to stop thinking. Because I know a lot of people out there are having a lot of trouble with uh, overthinking, intense thinking, unable to sleep because of their thinking, etc. In this video, I'm going to actually show you two tips or give you two tips about how to reduce the intensity of the thinking mind so that you can have a lot more space, a lot more ease in your mind and in your life in general. So I came across this because I'm actually a hardcore thinker as well, but I realized this when I was quite young. In, the, my, in my teenage years, I realized that thinking was really going to cause me a lot of trouble, so I really started investigating ways that I can manage it better. So it's really not about um, changing the mind, it's more about managing the mind that you've got. It's probably a better way of looking at it. So when I was very young, I started, you know, I went into yoga and, and Buddhism in particular, and I've been doing that for a good 15 years or so. And the techniques that I learned back then, I still use now, and I find them so powerful. And that's what I'm going to share with you today. The first one is the most powerful, but yet the most simplest tip I can share about how to stop the mind from thinking. Okay, so this first tip is basically every time you catch yourself caught up in a thought or giving a lot of attention to a thinking mind, every time your next exhale breath, just breathe it out of your body. So then find the next thought that comes in and then exhale, breathe it out of your body, let it go. So the best way to practice this is you can do it in formal meditation, of course, that's what you know, you're doing most of the time anyway, just to try and calm things down a bit. But any moment that you've got nothing to do, if you're sitting on the chair, you just, you just got nothing to do, you don't want to watch TV, you don't want to go on the internet, you don't want to speak on the phone, you can't, it's just, you're in this kind of limbo land. It's the perfect time to do it. So just uh, gather the next thought, and just push it out. And I find if you really give yourself at least five minutes, like if you were to sit in a chair or wherever you're at, and just stay there for quite some time, especially if you're, you know, you're really burdened by this thinkingness, just allow yourself five minutes. And it doesn't matter what kind of thoughts they are, even if it's the best idea in the world, even if it's a million dollar idea, don't, don't buy into it. So just exhale, breathe it out. Next one. So when you continue to do this, you'll notice that after five minutes, after 10 minutes, that the mind starts losing its power, the thinking starts losing its energy. So eventually you become more spacious and the space just starts to open up. And I think when space starts open up, opening up and there's actually no thoughts there, I think there may be a tendency for some people to start to freak out a little bit because they're not used to having nothing going on. I think people are addicted to having, having to always have something go on. And so that's why there's an addiction to the thoughts, to the thinking, because thinking is something going on. It's kind of exciting or, or depressing, whatever it is, but there's something going on. So we've got to get used to being okay that there's nothing going on. And having nothing going on is completely okay. And it's actually quite nice once you get used to it. Okay, so that's the first tip. The second tip is a bit more practical, and it's talking about the morning. So every time we wake up in the morning, we pretty much have a clean slate. We haven't really given the mind much attention yet, so it hasn't really got up into its big momentum yet. So don't feed it and don't, um, don't get it going early in the morning. It's better to remain quiet until you've had breakfast. And when you eat breakfast, have, a, have at least proteins in some form, have a big breakfast. I'm not a, don't have a light fairy breakfast like coffee and fruit. It's just too light and it just it doesn't help ground. So in the mornings, we've got to ground back into the earth body because we've been out in space. So have a big breakfast. And if you're not hungry, just wait it out. Do some exercise, do some stretching until you're hungry and then eat. And up until the time you eat, reduce think or reduce talking. Don't get going in thinking because when you're talking, you get activated. And that also includes making big decisions or talking about serious topics. Don't even bother going there until well after breakfast or until after breakfast. And also when you're eating, just be quiet. 
just take your time, be slow, get grounded first. Then when you're grounded, then you can start getting the mind going. It's how you set your day up. And I find that that is a really powerful, really easy, really simple way to go about it. Okay, so to summarize, so technique one is this if you find yourself being overwhelmed by thoughts, just take a moment, hold the thought or hold the energy of the thought and then exhale, breathe it out. When the next thought comes in, breathe it out. And just continue five minutes, ten minutes, and then eventually it starts running out of steam. You can do it multiple times throughout the day or you can just do it whenever you need it. It's totally available, it's totally free, it's easy. And the second tip is in the mornings, don't get the mind started before breakfast. Don't get serious before breakfast. Don't make decisions before breakfast. And when you eat, eat something heavy and grounding. And then after breakfast, start going. So that's it. I hope that helps. If you've got any questions or any comments, please feel free to send them in. And I'll see you again some other time, some other place. Thank you.